Hello student, myself Rosamund Jirwa from the Department of Faculty of Pharmaceutical Science, Assam Downtown University. Today topic lecture will be on the anesthetic or the general anesthetic. But in this uh, lecture, I will be telling you a little bit introduction of anesthesia and a little bit uh, introduction on the general anesthetic, the classification and a little bit mechanism of actions of the drugs of general anesthetics and uh, one compound which is from the uh, general anesthetic group. Introduction of anesthesia. Since you already know that anesthesia is defined as a loss of sensation with or without loss of consciousness. It can be actively, effectively achieved with a wide range of drugs with a very diverse chemical structures. Here there are the list of some common include not only the classes anesthesia agents such as the general and the local anesthesia but also many central nervous system like depressants such as analgesics, sedative and hypnotic, anticonvulsant and skeletal muscle reaction. Although various mechanisms of action are attributed to this agent, ultimately they all produce their anesthetic action by interfering with the conductions in a sensory neurons and also sometimes also motor neurons. So let's see what do you understand by general anesthetic. Uh, since this, they are the class of CNS depressant drug which produce reversible loss of all the sensation and consciousness. The features of general anesthesia are unconsciousness, muscle relaxation, and also analgesia. Before, before it. In the middle of 1800s, it was found that the pain-producing sur surgical and dental procedures typically were undertaken without the aid or without the help of effective anesthetic agent. Chemical methods available at the time include the intoxication with ethanol, cannabis, or opium, whereas physical methods include your packing a limbs in ice, creating ischemia condition with Tourniquets inducing unconsciousness by a blow to the head or the most common technique employing strong arm assistance to hold down the helpless patient during the entire painful surgical produce procedure. The general anesthesia that gained greatest popularity shortly after the field demonstrations of war was diethyl ether. Now as you can see that the other general anesthesia agents that enjoy early popularity were chloroform and cyclopropane. Chloroform vapor depressed the CNS of a patient, allowing a doctor to perform various otherwise painful surgical procedures. Cyclopropane is a hydrocarbon with anesthetic properties like dial eater eater, except it is also explosive and is no longer used. As described, some of the characteristic of ideal general anesthetic agents. They are the rapid and pleasant induction of surgical anesthesia, rapid and pleasant withdrawal from surgical anesthesia, adequate relaxation of skeletal muscles, potent enough to prevent the adequate oxygen supply in a mixture, wide margins of safety, non-toxic, there will be the absence of adverse effects and also non-flammable or non-explosive and you can also it can also have the non-reactive and also it is very, it is not expensive or it is inexpensive the idle general anesthesia state is characterized by a loss of all sensation and it induce it include the analgesia and muscle relaxation as i already Said before here the neuronal depression in a specific area of the CNS is believed to be largely responsible for such an anesthetic state the area which is involved include many uh, cortical regions that are represented by the excitatory pyramidal cells and inhibitory or excitatory stellate cells excites Excitations of the pyramidal cells help to maintain their consciousness, whereas the degree of inhibitions or excitation of stellar cells, they will determine the overall activity level of the pyramidal cell with which they synapse.
As the constituent of the anesthetic agent increase in the brain, the degree of the overall neural depression also increase, which result in progressively deeper stage of anesthesia. You can be seen that although this stage have been described for the dilator and uh, anesthetic agents has no longer used today, that is the dilator eaters. Stages of this general anesthesia, it have been divided into four stages. Stage one, it is analgesia, that is analgesia depend on the drug amnesia, euphoria. And the stage two is your delirium, excitement, delirium, combative behavior. Your third stage will be your surgical anesthesia, unconsciousness, regular respiration, decreasing in eyes movement. Your last or your fourth stage will be your respiratory paralysis, medullary depression, respiratory arrest, cardiac depression and arrest, and no eyes movement. These are all the four stages of your general anesthesia. This is about the introductions on the general anesthesia.